the biggest Animal House fan in this room, John Shannon, joining us here on Tim and Sid. How you doing, man? Food fight. Food fight. Food fight. John, please, only, only references in the last 30 years today, please. Well, I was going to say, you know what? When I was at Hogwarts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when you were at Hogwarts. Um, who deserves the credit for Nashville's turnaround here? Who do you point to? Is it Rennie? Is it a head coach? Is it a turnaround? Is it a turnaround? I, I, I think there's a I think there's something different, and I mean I actually I give a ton of the credit to the to the fans, I really do. Uh, the energy that they've created. Mike Fisher talked about it after the game, as how much more energized they feel playing at home, uh, and so you have to give some to the fans, and then you have to give something to as Cliff Fletcher would call him the goaler. The goaler. The goaler. goaler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, another uh, reference from 30 years ago. Yeah, with 30. How about 60? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. But I think that uh, the way uh, Rennie played the last two games, and you consider the two games in Pittsburgh, eight goals against on 38 saves, and these two games, 52 shots and uh, and and two goals. I mean, that's a bit of a difference. I did. Uh, I did favorite copy and paste well, John Shannon's tweet with those very stats that we just saw. Those are usually saved for Shanalytics, but I oh. put them out early. Oh, a little Shanalytics. You just drop a little Shanalytics. You did drop. Yeah. The question that I have and that I've had throughout and the one that, that uh, won't allow me to walk down Sid's bandwagon rolling that Nashville is going to win the Stanley How Cup. How are your ankles? I called this back in November, dude. You jump you on. Called it, you called it back in November. You called it back I at was, lunchtime. Are you oh, kidding me? No. <laughs> therapist coming in here, John, uh, taping his ankles on the regular so that he can jump on and off. We need, we need more tape than just my ankles. <laughs> uh, is Pittsburgh a good team? Uh, that's a great question right now. When you look at their depth, um, if you go beyond Crosby and Malkin and Kessel, Kunitz, I would guess. I mean, he's an Olympian. He's got a gold medal. He's won a Stanley Cup. Uh, I'm not, you know, they're quiet for a while. Yeah, but but their depth. No, ben, no, Benino makes a huge difference. I never thought we would say that. No, but I'm I with know. You on that. I know, yeah. but well, what what the problem is because Matt Cullen has to go to the third line. Matt Cullen isn't as good as Benino, and then they they put Carter Rowney in a terrible spot. He's he's the centerman that gets caught on the ice on the first goal, the Arncroft goal last night. Uh, you know, there. Listen, there, there's there would be some people believing that the Penguins are playing on fumes right now, and I think we saw glimpses of that last night. Uh, but at the same time, I think they had as good a, a as good a quality scoring chances as the Predators did, and Rennie was that good. What did you make of Crosby last night? Oh, he was the best player on the ice. Both yeah, teams. He was pretty good. You know, and right from the opening faceoff, what they do, you know, they're they're just hacking and whacking them, and you know, even Mike Fisher, who's supposed to be that gentle guy, I mean, he's he 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 spared no expense on Crosby through the whole game. Um, you know, they're the pushing after the whistle, they're just jabbing Sid, but you know what? I, I would shudder to think where they'd be without him. Uh, Boy, Fisher was in a mood last night, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. But, and you know what? Again, here's a guy that he played a little more than his regular ice time, over 18 minutes. And I, I think that, you know, there's still some life in that body. And that's that's the important thing. Four assists now after going scoreless, scoreless for, the, yeah. for the first three series. Four assists in four games. So he's he, he's done his job. There, you know, this is the this is the classic, to me, team versus stars argument. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, Crosby and Malkin are the best players, but they can't beat the team. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, Crosby can't play 60 minutes. Uh, and and what, what to all four lines are going through now for the Predators is truly oppressive. You know, we, there's, there's two guys, there's two forwards for Pittsburgh that played under seven minutes last night. Every, every line was just rolling for Nashville. Uh, I do think that has a bit to do with at home. I do think it has a bit to do with the line changes. You know, you're going to see Crosby's line out against uh, Weber and Irwin a little more in Pittsburgh. But boy, oh boy, there has to be more than Sid Crosby uh, contributing before this team has a chance to win another game. Well, let's walk down that road because I think last year proved to those who doubted it after his time in Toronto that Phil Kessel does have elite level talent and puts up elite level numbers in the postseason. But those, as he left Toronto, the criticisms that were levied against him 
we're what we're seeing right now, and that is in big spots when they need him the most, sometimes he's not there. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I think that for he and Malkin in this series, I just don't think they're shooting enough. I think they have to shoot the puck more. And, and you know, he's, we know he's got a brilliant shot. Yeah. Now, the only thing I wonder about, because you're right about last year. Remember, last year he played the, 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 the final series with a broken wrist. He had, neck, he had, he had wrist surgery the first week in July. Um, how, is he the same guy? Is there something wrong? Now, everybody's... Yeah, nicked up. Nicked up. How nicked up? Uh, how bad is he? Is uh, you know is he 75 percent? We'll hear next week. Well, but not, not everyone's Pierre Dorian is going to give us the the, uh, the shopping list of what happened. We might not know, right? No, we'll know. We, so? there's, we we'll know one way or the other. The news gets out. It won't necessarily be in a press conference <laughs> like true. we saw in Ottawa. But right. you know, it, so you, I, you, I wonder if there is something wrong with him because I became a believer in Kessel last year. I I because I, and he drove me nuts here. Yeah. He drove me nuts, yeah. simply because you knew how good he was and what a great skater he is, what a great shooter he is, what a great passer he is. Yeah. Well, you, you, when all the stars align, he's tough to beat. Yeah. I mean, he, he spent the whole first you know, six months in Pittsburgh, he couldn't play with Sid. That's why we haven't seen him in the playoffs together. He can't, yeah. he can't play with Sidney. But shoot the puck, he's so good. You know, that's what he does. And his and, numbers are virtually identical this postseason compared to last postseason. Yeah, yeah a good first three rounds. Yeah, first yeah. three rounds. Yeah. That's right. So it makes you wonder what's different with him now. He is trying, like on the power play, he and Malkin are trying these cross-ice passes to get the puck to Crosby. It ain't, ain't working. Well, on this team, you know, the, 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 the proverbial time and space that the Predators, and the Predators forecheck, has been remarkable. They, they, for the two games in Nashville, mm -hmm. they did almost everything right. Uh, so you're you're on the you're the guy the proverbial guy on the power play yelling shoot. No. I, actually, <laughs> this I, time. if I if if there was a camera up on the second floor here last night when I was sitting watching the yeah. game, that's what I was doing. I'm yeah. saying shoot the darn puck. Yeah. So you seem like it's you it's all that. your fault, guy. You weren't it's saying all that. your fault. <laughs> I wasn't so saying you're... darn. No, you weren't saying darn. <laughs> no, we don't. You know many words. Darn isn't one of your favorite ones. Yeah, darn right it is. Darn uh, That's a yarn crock right there. <laughs> That's a yarn crock or something. <laughs> Quickly, who benefits from the two days off the most? Pittsburgh oh, or Nashville? Pittsburgh does. Pittsburgh needs yeah, us? They, they do. Um, and, I mean, the rest of the way, when you think that uh, there's three games between now and the 14th that, that might put the Penguins in good stead. But I'll tell you what, it, if, it, if Nashville wins on Thursday night, mm -hmm. the party on Broadway on Sunday is going to be something. Yeah, without a doubt. Global Ambassador. And a guy who suggested I listen to the latest Future album. It's John Shannon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, John. Stop and with the Dirk Spankley. You were, you were right. Yeah, Dirk Spankley was terrible for that. Yeah, what's going on with the anthem series? And mur, and mur. Get out of here. <laughs> I think you guys should do a segment on uh, Rate the Anthem Singers in Nashville. Okay. Let's do it.